my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In this video I'm going to be talking about real passive income and how it has literally saved my bacon as a stay-at-home mom during all of the moving and everything that's been going on. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to make sure that the stream looks good because I am live. So if you're watching this later and um, you're expecting just a straightforward, like just get to the facts, ma'am, um, you're going to see a little bit of chat because I am live. So I do want to appreciate the people that come to hang out and ask questions so I can answer those questions as well. Um, but let me look over and see if the chat is, I mean, if the uh, stream is looking good because I'm in my new house and we've had a lot of trouble with the, with the Wi-Fi. So I'm sitting downstairs also just forewarning they're doing some construction outside. So you might hear some drilling. Hopefully it won't be too distracting for me or for you. Um, so again, I titled this real passive income with no money up front and how passive income saved me as a stay-at-home mom because, um, and many of you that have watched me for a while probably know what I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to be showing you screenshots of all of my print on demand, basically platforms and let you know like what I've been putting into it, um, lately and what I've been getting out of it lately with basically doing nothing. So, um, as you guys know, or if you don't know, um, I do a lot of print on demand, um, merch by Amazon, Printful and Etsy. Um, what's the other one? Teespring, Redbubble. And while I say that, you know, this is passive, everything has a little bit to start up, but it has been completely passive for me for the last, ooh, let's see, since probably February or March, March, April, May, June, July, oh, so six months, I have maybe uploaded 20 pop sockets. Or I mean, just so minimal. Maybe, I mean, when we had our, our hangout, I think I uploaded a couple things that my kids designed. Um, so it has been really, really hands off for me. And since I've had to put my, my eBay and my Etsy shops on vacation, um, I, my income has just tanked, right? Because I don't work outside the home anymore. I stay home, I homeschool the kids, and I started reselling on Etsy and eBay. Um, one, so I wouldn't have to ask my husband for money. I've always been very independent, and I was always raised, you know, my mom always said, never depend on Amanda to support you. So it was really important to me that I have my own income. And so that was a real big stressor for me when I had to put those shops on vacation and feel like I'm not going to have any kind of income coming in. And my goal when I started was just 200 bucks a week. So I would have, you know, money if I wanted to do this or that, but it, it ended up exploding into being way more than that and being able to pay for my kids' summer camps and being able to pay for our trip. So, um, it, it's a big hit when you're used to making a certain amount of money and then thing, things just tank. I have the chat hidden because I wanted to make sure I, I got my my spiel out in the beginning because I get so sidetracked in the chat. So I am going to be showing you guys my um, my merch dashboard, my Printful dashboard, all of that so you guys can see um, what I've been bringing in every month. And if you have any questions in the chat, you can you know, pop them in there. Or if you have questions later, leave a comment in the comment section down below or even comments or anything like that. Um, because this is something that I feel not only, I mean, there are lots of people that want passive income, but I feel really strongly about it. Uh, sorry, dudes. I feel really strongly about it for women um, because of, you know, just independence, feeling like you've got independence, you know. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie, for, yeah. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that my house has been a nightmare. So yeah, oh here, I'll peek you over there. I'll peek you over there. I'll show you a peek over there. Um, my goal was to get downstairs like as an escape. So anyway, yeah, it's getting there. Okay, um, so I'm gonna say hey in the chat and then we'll jump into show, I'll show you my numbers and exactly my process and everything like that. So hey Debbie, hi Christine, hello Elliot. Thanks so much for coming to hang out. Hey, Elta Sports and Patricia. Hi, Cherry Picker. Oh, it just jumped. Hello, Susan and Jill. Thanks so much for coming. Um, I'm going to get there, Elliot. Uh, hello, Truth Seeker and Kim. Hello, Retro Diva. Thanks so much for coming. Um, Patricia says, the way Etsy has changed, I really believe you have to do a lot of social media and pay for advertising to sell anything. I do well on merch with organic, but not on Etsy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that in a second, too. So my little corner of Georgia says I lost my job in January. I haven't had any money since. I'm the only one paying the bills. I'm probably going to lose my home. See that, and this is the yeah. I mean, I think 
That's, I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Heather. Oh, hey, Heather. How's it going? Hi, Zizo. Um, and Debbie says, merch is just not working for me. Keep uploading, they're not selling, doing the right things and just not, and not nothing, not one shirt. Hmm. Emerald, hello, Gloria. Uh, thank you, Jason, the other Jason. Okay. Okay, and Kaylee, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so basically um, what I do and what I've done, I, I've been on Merch by Amazon for, I, what is it, two years, three years now? I can't even remember. Um, and it is a print on demand. So it started off with just T-shirts where you would create a shirt or a design and upload it to the platform. And then um, it's when it sells, and this is on Amazon, when it sells, Amazon would print it and ship it and do all the customer service and all of this kind of stuff. And you would get the royalty. So generally, depending on your price, about five bucks a shirt. So um, while I was getting started, I really did a lot. I mean, that's the thing. When, when you have passed passive income, you know, there's some front loading that goes into it. So right now I haven't done anything, but I did a lot of um, front loading in, in my merch by Amazon, especially. So with that being said, I haven't done anything in probably five or six months since we, you know, my husband lost his job. We, we found, I, got, I got a new job. We moved, blah, blah, blah. So if you're interested to apply for merch by Amazon and there's lots of groups, I recommend uh, merch minds and merch university on Facebook, lots of helpful people there um, that can help you out. But let me go ahead and show you mine. Uh, merch does a way more than just shirts now too, but also on Printful. Um, my profits are not as good on Printful and not as good on Teespring. Young, rich or aficionado, how can you become a millionaire overnight? I tell you what, send me half a million dollars and I will, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know him, so it's he's just he's ribbing me. Okay, okay. So here we go. I'm gonna show you how it has totally saved my bacon doing print on demand. Okay, so I'm pulling up some screenshots. So let's this is my my printful, right? And while you you may look at this, and now I gotta say, I'm always grateful for for every nickel that comes through my door. So if it's five dollars, I am so grateful. If it's ten dollars, I am so grateful because if I make $10 on one platform and 20 on another and 15 over here, that all starts rolling together. And the next thing you know, I can pay my grocery bill, right? So if you're looking, I mean, there, there are people that make massive amounts of money and that's awesome. And there have been months that I have made massive amounts of money, but um, right now with the things just rolling along, I am happy for, for any of it, but I wanted to share, my numbers with you for that. Um, Mitch, hey Mitch. Um, I'm waiting for that barbecue you. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, let me ignore the chat for one second. Sorry guys. Okay, so this is my printful um, dashboard. And as you can see in January, my totals were about 50 bucks, right? And to me, that's pretty good because that's like my gas bill, right? I can pay my gas bill. That's a tank of gas. And I mean, any little bit that you can take off that cushion of, of the main household income is is good for me, right? So, and it slowly starts going up, you know, 93 bucks in June, July, 123. And, and as I said, you know, I probably haven't uploaded, especially on Printful too. I've done even less on Printful than on Merch. Um, that it's, uh, my brain just went Shoop. Yes, so I don't know why my brain just spaced out. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Anyway. Um, I haven't really done a lot there. So this is, you know, this is, I have a few different shops on um, Printful and Etsy. With Etsy, and I have a cute, quite a few videos, you can have more than one shop. So the one I'm sharing, these are shirts and designs that I've done mostly on in tutorials and in videos and things like that. So I don't mind sharing it, um, but I have other Printful shops or Etsy shops with print on demand stuff as well. So that's just one of them. Anyway, so this is my my one that I have. And the cool thing about that is that you can um, have it on more than just t-shirts here. So that's good. Okay, let me jump in the chat real quick and then I'll look at the next one. Um, oh goodness, I'm so glad you guys came in to troll me. I love you. <laughs> um, thanks. I hope to see you back on Merch Talk soon. Miss you and Jeff. I think the guys have been doing it, but on Chris's channel, I have to see. Um, yes, pick up a penny, right, Heather? I never, I never leave a penny. 
I, or if I like see change in the couch or whatever, I, I'm like, no, you start putting those pennies in a jar. Next thing you know, you got a hundred bucks, right? Um, <laughs> anyway, okay, let me move back. Sorry, if you're watching this and you don't know me and you're like, who are you talking to? Um, these are my friends. Okay, so here we go. So here's my merch by Amazon and I'll show you from, from early, early on. And this is my um, pretty merch dashboard. So I started back here in January, 2016. Um, I sold my first shirt. So that was a $7 profit. So as you can see, and now this is when I was pretty active, you know, I was really uploading shirts and really learning about the platform and what kind of keywords to do and what was okay and what was not okay. And believe me, I did stuff that wasn't okay to begin with because I didn't know better. Sorry, I had to take a drink. Um, but, you know, you'll start seeing trends in different time, you know, like right now things are slow because it's summertime. Generally, things kind of slow down. Um, so here are things, this is when I'm really front loading stuff and my sales are doing what I think to me is doing really well. You know, this is December, 2016. I made almost $1,500, you know, yeah, things dropped off at the beginning of the year, but, but still, if you think about it, I'm not having to package anything or ship anything or handle customer service. This is all just Amazon taking care of it and sending me the royalty checks. Um, so this is June of 2017. That was, I think, my best month, June of 2017, yeah, where I made almost $2,000 that month. Um, so that's really good. But let's jump to now. So I probably haven't uploaded anything since probably January or February, but it's been pretty steady for me. Um, and this is where I say it has saved my bacon because I've been so busy, you know, figuring out homeschooling and figuring out, you know, my husband losing his job and us moving and it's been crazy. Um, so knowing that I, you know, it's not, I mean, nothing's ever set in stone, but, but knowing, okay, there's going to be a little bit of money coming in. I don't have to totally freak out, you know? So it's, you know, right around 600 bucks every month coming in for merch. So, and again, that's with me not really doing anything. I'm not doing any social media sharing or promotions or advertising or anything like that. Um, so that's been, really, really good for me. So then I wanted to share also just because just to show you everything, my Teespring, <laughs> because it's real, right? Um, here's my Teespring. So this is going back to February and I, I'm maybe uploaded a few things, but like I say, I'm super happy with every dollar that comes into my door. So, you know, back in March, you know, there were $7 and 77 cents in revenue and over here in home is this, baby, hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, in June, 10 bucks, you know, and I'm ready. I have another $10 payout ready for me. So I'm ready, you know, <laughs> I'm ready for that $10 payout because that's, that's a trip to Starbucks for us. You know, we can go get a treat up at Starbucks with that $10. So I'm really grateful for that. So it's not too late, Christine. She says, now I wish I hadn't failed at merch. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did. Um, so yeah, um, it, it's not too late, right? Um, there, there are really great groups of helpful people out there um, that, you know, Merch University, Joe is amazing. You know, I want to say Jeff is amazing, but he's not here, so I won't. Um, Chris, you know, and then Yong, who's Merch Minds, Yong and Glenn. These guys are really, you know, really great guys and their groups are really positive and helpful on um, on Facebook. So they're out there. You get kicked off if you don't upload. Did you get kicked off if you don't upload within? Yeah, if you don't upload your first shirt after 90 days, then you don't. <laughs> well, you can't fail if you don't even try. I don't know. Um, so let me look in the chat real quick. And and this is just you know I wanted to share my numbers, but I really felt strongly about it today because I was just thinking about like, here I am this morning going to Starbucks, like where's this money coming from? What am I doing? Where's this money coming from? Oh yeah, I need to like be really grateful for, for you know, wh what I've got. And I've got to say, Young and Joe Clay and Glenn Zubia are really the ones at, that really pushed me, you know, when, when um, you're at the Green Room meetup, what, yeah, 2016, I don't know, I don't remember what year it was, 2015, 2016. And um, they just kept talking about it and Joe kept talking about it. I was like, fine, I'll apply, you know, and it just kind of 
snowballed. And yeah, Mitch in the chat said, don't hashtag don't use Super Bowl. That was my big mess up when I started was I didn't realize that Super Bowl was a trademarked thing. And this is back in what was it, 2015, 2016? I didn't know. You just got you gotta check everything. Um so oh you got kicked off. Okay, okay. Um, Beverly says I was in tier 100, kept swapping out designs, finally started selling one a day and now as of ended, but that's pretty, I mean, to, I sold one yesterday and that was it, but I'm like, yes, that's a five bucks. Right. And, but five times 30, there you go. You know, you're looking at a, a nice little bit. So is there a referral fee to recruit new people? No, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm, I'm trying to understand what you mean. Hmm. I don't know. It's free to join. You know that though. Um, one day I have to start a new account because, oh, you went inactive. I see. I see. Yeah. Persistence. Definitely. Um, and, and I still have things that kind of drop off and I haven't re-uploaded anything. I haven't, um, that's one thing that I could do, but, but honestly, right now things have been, this is a miracle behind me. I just want to say like this happening, this kitchen, <laughs> It's a miracle. So um, with everything that's been going on, it, yeah, for me. Um, but I wanted to say in the in the comments, not the comment section, but in the description box down below, if you're, you know, it's free to sign up for merch. Um, if you want to sign up for Printful and Etsy, if to get started on Etsy, there it's 20, did they change it to 25 now? I can't remember. 20 cents a listing. Um, I feel like I heard a rumor that they moved it to 25 cents, but um, there's a there's a link down below to get I can't even think of what it is now. 40 free listings, right? On on Etsy, yeah, 40 free listings on Etsy. Sorry if I'm, yeah. Anyway, so, no, there's no five dollars to recruit people or anything. That would be awesome. I'd be recruiting people left and right, right? <laughs> Everybody, sign up. Um, but most of these print on demand platforms are free and there are um, a lot of resources out there to do it for free. When I started, I didn't pay a dime for anything. You know, now that I've started having some income, you know, I do spend a little bit for different services, but the, you, I started out doing it totally free. And I, I'm going to see if I can link my video that I did. Um, 10 free sites or something for merch by Amazon or something like that. The new, oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, Lord Ahab, I have 10 designs up, zero sales, over 200 on Etsy, one sale, but over $100 in fees. Wow. Um, yeah, because it, it's 20 cents when you, when you list something, but it lasts for four months, so that's good. Hmm. Do you crest the designs? I don't, I think maybe. Spell check, gotcha. Um, oh, nice, Heather. I'm spending more on fees than I'm making. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I, I don't, I mean, if that were happening for me, what would I do? I mean, I think at that point I would, you know, look at my designs, one, but also look at um, what, what, like some sort of social media sharing, something else to get more people um, favoriting and viewing the shop, viewing your shop, viewing your items, because that kind of gets things. And Etsy recently changed their SEO stuff. So that's another thing to think about as well. If the tags aren't on point and, um, <clears throat> pardon me, I did a four part series about that, like Etsy SEO and the big changes that they, they implemented this year. So that's something else to consider is they, they kind of changed the way they, they did their SEO. So that might have something to do with it too. But that's basically it. I just wanted to come on and share my print on demand stuff and, and let you guys see what I've been making and what I've been doing, which is nothing. Um, and I was just so grateful that it is, it is passive now that I have been making this money. So um, where do I check? to make sure what I'm saying on a shirt or whatever is okay. I've looked online, but there's so many different things. So I would look at, um, I use Trademarkia. Well, I don't use that as much anymore, but TM Hunt, and then USPTO, which is the government site for trademarks. And then if you're not, if you're still like, it's questionable, 
you could go into one of the groups. I wouldn't go into the group and say, hey guys, this is my design, look at what I'm doing. Because unfortunately we have learned that people will steal your designs. Um, I would kind of skirt it or dance around it, you know, like if it has to do with hockey and like I'm thinking about, but then like use a basketball reference or something instead, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I would, I would ask in groups for sure. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And I did, I mean, I'll, I'll throw this out there. No pressure at all. I do have a Patreon page if you're interested, you know, whether you're doing merch or not, um, where I share, I share my top selling design every month. So I, I, I need to do that for this month. So I'll send out just a couple levels, but on one level, I share what my top selling shirt was for the last month. And I, and I do a little write up and I talk about like when I uploaded the shirt and what was my thinking behind it and kind of what I, what went into making my keywords and my descriptions and stuff. Um, and just talking about the climate, sometimes it has to do with what's going on. And it's like a shirt that just boom, randomly started taking off because something happened in the world that made it happen, you know, made it popular. Um, and then there's another one where if you're struggling with keywords and descriptions and stuff, you can send me your design and I'll write up the title keywords descriptions for you to upload. So there's that, that's an option out there too. And I think Joe also has a Patreon um, that he does that for too, if you're interested for sure. So there is that. I think that's pretty much it. So and I think I caught all the questions in the chat. I really appreciate everybody coming to hang out. And yeah, uh, it's things that someone said in the inner. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Well, like, for example, um, I have a shirt that has been selling lately that has to do with kofefe, if you know what that is. So it is a word, sort of, not really. It's a thing that was tweeted and I put it on a few different shirts just for fun, you know, and when it first happened, I sold a couple when it, and then lately, you know, it's been selling a couple more. And you remember back when they thought Melania had like a decoy, like I did some shirts for that, like Melania, like stand in Melania decoy, that kind of stuff. Um, so I mean, stuff like that pretty, I mean, just check USPTO check, you know, TM hunt, but yeah, there, there's, there's some wiggle room on a few things like that. I saw somebody in one of the groups saying, you know, they wanted to do, um, <laughs> they wanted to do something with sports teams and like trying to like really skirt that edge kind of close. And to me, it's like, that's too close. I mean, sports teams are really proprietary and really like they got their claws in it. Disney, same deal. Like don't even star Wars. Don't go near it. You know? Um, I checked one of the best-selling shirts on Etsy is a Father Day shirt photoshopped onto the Brock's body. Hmm. That now things people have gotten away with a little bit more on Etsy, but they have been cracking down. So I'd be careful, you know, because there's on Etsy and Printful and some of these other sites, not merch by Amazon. Um, you know, people had a little bit more leeway in the past with um, artistic like parody and things like that. Um, but I have heard that they are cracking down a little bit more on that. My earthquake room is getting better, Dan. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I shared a little bit of my uh, the boys school room yesterday. So yeah. Um, if someone else already thought of it, stay away. <laughs> but what do you do if it's Kofefe? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, basically. Pardon me. I need a little extra caffeine today. Okay, um, so that's pretty much it. Again, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Go over there and hit that thumbs up, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for coming to hang out, everybody. Bye, y'all.